Sounds like he saw Casey in the street in Manhattan oh, like, that's... talking to himself, like going crazy. Uh, hey, hmm. Casey comes to me. We're over the vacation. We're working last week. Casey comes to me and he goes, don't you hate when you run into people you know on the street? And he goes, I ran into Sal and, and he caught me. I was, t- I was talking to myself and he caught me. Mm. He talks to himself walking down the street. Oh, Casey? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so bad for him. He's really, you know, he is the craziest guy in the show. How far is I, he from I, the straight jacket? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie about it. He did nail me. He nailed me. Yeah. I was, what were you talking about? I was. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 you never did that. You, did they teach you in anger management that that's bad? No, you, you <laughs> never. You never like uh, you know to stop uh, no. all the thought. You just say something. So you listen. What? <laughs> <laughs> to stop the thoughts in your head. You mean? Yeah, I mean to stop. Uh, what, you, oh hey, Casey, want to come to lunch with us? <laughs> <laughs> no wait, You never did that. Just to. What are you, you talking about? You hear, Seriously, just tell me what you're talking about. Like, do you hear stuff in your head? Everybody, everybody does, doesn't everyone? Like, hey, like a, like you hear your, your own, it's your own voice. <laughs> do you show it your voice? Yeah, but you know, sometimes I'll try and think about something, but then something else will pop in. Right. And, so then you start and to, talking. To stop it, if I talk, Hello? I can concentrate on it. Hello? You can't control your mind without talking. Hello. Well, I, I, I won't actually talk. Sometimes I'll just. Mouth it. Like, what Hello? thoughts come in that are so uncomfortable that you need to talk to stop them? I, you know, it's Hello? it's really weird. It's going to sound weird when I say it, but it's no really one. not. It's Boy, just, it's an abstract it's an abstract maybe. thought. Like yeah. say that I'll be near a baby or something like that. Right. Oh, no. oh, and uh, it, 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 it sounds it sounds right. funny, right. but like what what would happen if I just took this kid and threw it? I know. Oh my god! Right. That's right. OCD, Howard. So, I knew he had those thoughts. But I uh, but I would never do that. But I just still have the thoughts. So to stop the thoughts. Uh, you know, <laughs> okay. What do you say to stop the thought? You know, I usually just I, I'll shake or something like that. Yes, and, and, master. And then uh, if, if I can concentrate, if I say, you know, just don't say what? throw the baby or something. Oh, so he has a conversation about whether he should throw the baby or not. Oh, so, so you say basically throw the baby, don't throw the baby. So you say to the voice, don't throw the baby, don't throw the baby. <laughs> what baby? I, don't. It, sounds, it sounds he's not totally invited over my house. It, it sounds totally insane, man. Howard, I know what it sounds like. You know, what do you say? What do you honestly? So the thought comes in your head. Gee, wouldn't it be weird if I threw the baby? Not that right, you would do it. And then, the and, then, and then another one will say, shut up. Right. Stop. Another thought will say, shut up and stop. But, is, but it's still me saying it. It's just like stop saying it. Right. And then what do you say out loud? Uh, you know, if I was, I, I, in this case, I was on the street and I must have been, t- I, I don't remember what I was thinking about, but mm-hmm. it, it was just it, probably just talking about something else, so I wouldn't think about it anymore. Oh. Oh, he distracts himself from He distracts yeah, yourself. Yeah, but what is this conversation to distract himself? That's what But I since you know you're not going to throw the baby, so why not just have the thought and let it. Keep because it, it, will still, it will still be in there. It's like. It bothers him to have a bad thought. Because it, it makes him feel uh, guilty. But if you talk out loud, then the other one will go away. Right. The other one. The, the other voice. You know what's really weird? What's really weird is like after the show, Casey and I just pretend these conversations never happen, <laughs> and we just talk about work, and we're yeah. just two normal guys. Yeah. yeah. yeah we just don't Meanwhile, discuss it. you don't know what he's listening no, to. No, not a clue. No, but most, most, most... Casey, this is the voice of you. <laughs> get, get, get them all out of the room. Throw them out the window. Toss the kids. Toss the kids. No, usually it happens It happens at night when I'm going to sleep. Mike, what do you think about? Um, like, give us a thought you would think that you had to now talk about. I, uh, I, for some, uh, <laughs> it's goofing on me, man. No, no, no. Come on, tell, tell, uh, tell, tell, tell. Uh, no, nobody's goofing on you. No. <laughs> Not in this room. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll try and try and think about something, but then something else will come in and, and say, uh, you know, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. You can't give us a for instance. It, it, hey, he's saying, be honest, I'll help you with this, seriously. Don't be embarrassed. Just say it. Just, 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 does it usually involve some sort of violence, like hurting yeah, somebody? Yeah. Right. Like, so, what is one of the worst thoughts you had? I know you're not going to act on it. Girlfriend or something. Well, what's worse than wanting to kill the baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you know, it, it's really weird. Like sometimes I'll laugh out loud because you know I'll see like an old lady walking down the street uh-huh. or Go something ahead. like that, walking down the stairs, and I'll have this voice say, "What? What happened if you just kick this old lady down the stairs?" <laughs> right. Now, now, it'd be great to break her in. Of course, I would never do that. No. Right. But, uh, but at the same time, why am I having these thoughts? Right. Why, why are you even you thinking say? that? Because it's I, I just think it, it's it's because so to, in order to control your mind, you start to talk out loud. Right. And, and what do will you, you say? say? Something like, "Why am I having these thoughts?" No. He says something else. Like, what will you say? It, it, it's it's weird. I, it's, I don't say the same thing every time. So like, you know? what would, give me an example of something you say. Uh, trying to understand. I, it, it, just, I mean, it just happens. Like, I'm having the thoughts. You know, it's not. Do you address like I have conversation with someone? Casey, do you address the issue at hand, or do you say, "Oh, the Met game's on tonight. I got to watch that"? Or do you actually <laughs> I'm address sure the that's issue? A nice little old lady. What do you say? 
No, he said before you say stop it, right? You... No, I don't. I don't say stop it out loud. The other voice in my head is saying stop doing that. You know. Right. You got. Here's what goes on. I, I think I'm with you. I know you have a bad thought. You have a bad thought. I, what would it be like if I pushed the lady down the steps? Then the other voice goes, "Hey, stop it!" This right. is all the voices right. in your head. Right. So then, then in order to help the, in order to help the but argument, it's not someone else's voice. It's my voice. Oh, of course. But so in order to stop the bad voice and to help out the good voice, you then say out loud what? <laughs> I'm you trying know, to understand. What sometimes I'll just I'll just mouth what I'm trying to think about. Like right. say I, I have to uh, say I you know I got a I got a book uh, Jason Priestley later later today. Right. I won't say it out loud, but maybe just to start the thought, I'll just mouth the words. So okay. in other words, this argument you leave the argument between the but good how, voice and the bad. How, right. But how are you? Right. I try and distract my. Uh, and do they keep arguing during you, the time <laughs> you're distracting yourself? Yeah, this is yeah, why mostly when I when I sleep. Why do you go. just say, "Will you two please shut the f up"? <laughs> ah, sorry, sometimes I do. I'm just I'm like, shut up, Casey. Is there ever you, do, you say shut not up? Not out, not out loud. But I'm in my head. I'm just like stop. You but know. When Sal saw you, you were talking out loud. Yeah, I don't remember what I was talking about, but I know he nailed me. And what did Sal? Um, what, did, what what were you saying when Sal saw you? I don't remember. He, I don't remember. I, I was embarrassed. Was I mean, Sal just said he was blabbing. But Howard, this is probably why he. I don't yell and stuff. I don't call probably, attention to myself. It's just like we have a, a small conversation. This is probably why he has trouble like getting aroused. I bet you. I don't have a problem getting no, aroused. But I bet you when he's going to have sex, he has all this stuff going on in his head. You know what I mean? Yeah, we go and like and when you're about to have sex, yeah. they would go, "Gee, what would it be like if I strangled my girlfriend?" <laughs> Not that you would do it. What if I skinned her? Answer and honestly. Too. Is there ever a lot of anxiety when you have sex? And be honest. Well, ever since you guys started ripping on me, yeah, then that oh. thought was in But I never had a problem, though. Oh. Right. But I, I never had a problem. Get it up. Don't I really didn't. That, not, since, not since college. Why can't you get it up? <laughs> can't get it up. Will I be able up. to get it up? Get it up, you, you faggot. You get it up? <laughs> You're a homo. Get up and go to the bathroom. No, don't. I like that guy's naked ass. No, I don't. <laughs> don't like men. I'm looking at this guy's ass. <laughs> Shut up. It's muscular. No, it's not. All right, we got, listen, Casey. I want to get tan for him. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I, hey, it sounds weird, but it's really not. I understand. Howard, it's, it's, I it's, want to kiss Brad Pitt. See, that's no, the whole, no, it doesn't either. sound that bad. That's the whole defense no, mechanism. Every, Casey, you ever notice Casey's conversation start off with, this happens to you, right? Or this is this is normal, right? right. But it's so not normal, and it Everybody never happens to any of us. No, but don't you have conversations no. with yourself sometimes? Sometimes. You know how yeah, you're lying thoughts. in the tanning bed right. talking to yourself. I have thoughts in my head. And they and they kind of they conflict no. a lot? They well, don't escalate into arguing. I have thoughts, but I don't, the two voices don't argue. Are you right. arguing with yourself? Do you ever dress up like your mother and <laughs> get a big meat cleaver, <laughs> run a hotel, and imitate her voice? <laughs> it's, you know, I, I can't, I, I'm not doing a good job explaining it. And it's, I'm coming across oh, like a, a, a complete... Job freaking wacko but i'm not did you tell your psych did you tell your psychiatrist yeah. about this that's the least of my problems dude oh yeah <laughs> did your father ever come to your head no not at all casey don't you wonder what he talks to the shrink about if that's not casey the this is this is your father <laughs> where's the old lady down the stairs <laughs> you were never a good wrestler you were my biggest disappointment you never did good at wrestling camp i didn't I thought I was all right. Hey, can we speak to that other voice? The one that has all the bad thoughts? Yeah, the can you let him guy. hear? Can you let him open up and talk to us? Yeah. What if I could throw that baby through the goalposts? Come on, Sybil. <laughs> you know what? And, How many people are in there? I, I, I think... A whole I think, football uh, team. <laughs> I have card games with them. Uh, there we go. What'd you say? I, I was just going to say, I, uh, you know, I was, I was going to this doctor. I went to this neurologist. And he seems to think that since I was, I had maybe a few concussions or something like that. There might be scar tissue in there. Oh, yeah. That, might, that might cause a misfiring. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you, right. you need an oil change. <laughs> you know how he ended up with the neurologist? Because he started telling me some symptoms of some stuff that were bothering him, and it just happened to be the same symptoms Dr. Mark Green was having on ER. So I said, you know, maybe you have a brain tumor. Oh. <laughs> and around, and Casey oh. started really getting into it. I said, you know, Dr. M Dr. Green on ER, he's been having oh, the yeah, same stuff. Oh yeah, he told me he thought he had a brain tumor. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Gary said something the other day, which totally freaked me out. I wish you didn't say it. What's that? You were, t you were telling Howard some story, and he was saying uh, this pilot, he was up there, and one of the symptoms of when you're going to pass out and you're out of oxygen oh, yeah, John Glenn. Is, you see, is you see black spots. Yeah, that's uh, so oxygen now deprivation. So black spot, I think I'm going to have a heart attack. Great, that's, thanks, dude. Seeing black spots is the beginning of oxygen deprivation if you're in a plane 8,000 feet above the earth. Yeah. What I like is Casey thinks if he explained this better, it wouldn't sound weird. <laughs> no, I really, if I, if I could do a better job, you just, it's weird to understand. No, I understand. You have a, a voice in your head that gives you a weird thought, and then the other voice, the voice of reason, you know, right. your, which is still your voice, 
comes right. in it's and, not says, like it's a strange voice. and says, hey, what are you having that thought for? And then the arguing back and forth fatigues you, and in order to stop the debate, you talk out loud to drown out the two voices. I, believe me, you guys think I'm stupid. I, I want to think nothing. I, I don't want to have any thought. Can I, I tell really you I don't. understand? Howard, do you know who he is? He's you want to have no thought. I want to I be a robot. You want to be Gary, to. You be Gary the Retard. Howard, yeah. Yes, I do. Ignorance is bliss, man. That's people happy. Yeah, good. He's Peter Sellers and Dr. Strange. I know. Oh, so All right, awesome. listen. It's fascinating to be brought into your world. i got to take a break. i got to go to the news. I'm glad it's fascinating for you. No, listen. We're all fascinated. No one's at your enemy here. We're all frightened. We're all your friend. We're all friends. Cover me. <laughs> He's the one who gets I'm my food. I'm starting to wear a vest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. Spit um, in it. No, don't spit in it. <laughs> all right, we have to uh, take a break. Casey.